This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So uh, today I'm going to start a new series that is some more important and more advanced interview questions for Java. Because I see a lot of people, uh, they are struggling in Java and uh, these are the basic, I mean, you go everywhere in either in good product company or maybe in your first round or second round, people are asking about these basic questions, right? So the questions like, how will you find out array-based questions, string-based questions, uh, the duplicate words in a particular string, anagram numbers and all those things. So if you remember uh, a few months back, I started one series, important Java questions like prime number, Armstrong number. Okay, such, uh, such numbers we have already covered. Now let's take some more advanced topics. So today I'm going to take, uh, how will you find duplicate words in a given string? So, uh, the requirement is like this. Let's see, I'm simple writing that, uh, uh, hey, uh, Java is Java, my, okay, Java is something like this. Java is Java, best language is Java. So we can see, so I'll pass this particular string and I'll point output like this how many duplicate words are available. So let's see, Java is coming two times, sorry, three times, one, two, and three. And we have one more word, the word is, 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 is coming two times, one and two, right? So if a particular word is coming more than one, then I want, I want to find out the duplicate words, right? Hey is not a duplicate word, it's coming only once. Best and language is also not a duplicate, because it's coming only once. So I have to find out the duplicate words in a given string. It's a very quite popular interview question. But to solve this problem, we will be using the concept of hash map because without hash map, it's really difficult to solve it. So we will use some string manipulations as well as hash map. So I'll do one thing. Let it this uh, main method, let it be like this. I'll create one generic method. And this particular method, I'll make it quickly. Let's see, public, uh, static, void and my method name is uh, find duplicate words and then this guy is saying that okay you give me the string and i'll find it for you so let's see this is my uh my string is uh, 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 okay so this is my whatever the input string that you are passing right so as a string parameter we will pass and uh, we will manipulate this particular string and we will find out what exactly the problem. So when we call this particular method, let's see, find duplicate methods, we will call it and then we will pass, let's see this particular example, something like this, right? So we'll be call this particular method and we will pass this string over here. And then how will you do that? So first thing is guys, first I'll do one thing, I split, okay, this particular string. So we know that how to split. So input string dot split method is there. And on the basis of what? On the basis of one space. Why? Because every space is there like this, right? So a split method will return what? This is a split method, it will give you one string array. So I'll store inside my string array. Let's see, this is the words array that is equal to this, right? We all know what is the, right? Split return. And once this is done, what exactly I'll do? I'll create one hash map. So simple create one uh, hash map. Okay, so how to create it? So in this particular hash map, I'll tell you why I'm creating hash map. So let's create one hash map with the help of map interface. And I'll uh, my key will be in a string. So I want like this, this is my key is a string and number of repetitive words. So the count of those words. So this will be an integer. So I simply write a string comma integer, right? And let's say this is my word count is equal to a new hash map string comma integer like this. And I'll import map and hash map. So, okay, fine. And then I'll write a logic that uh, to check each, okay, to check the each word. So what if the each word in given array, 
Okay, so what is my array? In this particular array, I'll keep checking if it is available. Okay, then I'll do something. If it is not available, I'll just put that particular uh, value on the basis of that key. Okay, in the hash map. Right. So how to do that? So I'll simply write one for loop. So I'll simply write one for each loop, and uh, I'll create one string. And I have to start my loop on this particular array. So simply, I'll write a string. Let's see, I'll be writing one uh, variable that is the word variable in words. So I'm not writing int i equal to zero. You can write it like this also, int i equal to zero up to words dot length <coughs> and then i plus plus. So simply I'll write like this also a string word inside this particular words. It means this word is the main i equal to zero like this. Great. Okay. Now, once this is done, now the actual logic will start. What exactly I'll do? If it is present, if a word is uh, present in the array, what I'll do, I simply write one if condition that if whatever the word count that we are getting, okay, if it is available, let's see word count dot we have one method contains key, okay, contains key what this particular word, okay, if it contains, then what do you want? If this particular contains then word count dot put method we will okay add the value dot put what my key will be whatever the word that you are getting this particular word okay let's see the key will be hey okay and then the value will be what you simple whatever the value that you are getting if it is already available it means you just increase the counter okay by one so what i'll do i simply say this is my word count okay and dot you get the word this is my word and then simple increase the counter by one like this if it is available right if it is not available it means you come inside the else part and then what you do you simple write again the word count dot simple write put let's see uh, in this particular hash map the first time value is not available if the value if it is not available Put that word into word count okay put that word okay value in, in this particular word count that is your hash map okay <clears throat> like this but what if the value is already i mean value is not available so what is my key my key is the same word okay and the value is what the value is one like this it means if it is not present then put that word into word count with one as its value like this so this is my key and this is my value okay if the value is not available inside the hash map and then my for loop ended over here okay now if the value is already available let's see if contains key it means i just simple increase the value by one it means let's see java is already available next time java is coming it will check okay java is already available it means increase the okay the increase the availability counter by one so this is my availability counter and then increase the value by one it means java is coming two times now next time it will come over here again it will check yes it contains java again increase by one so it will be three like this and i'll do one thing while we fetch so simple i write word dot um to lowercase so that we will print okay properly over there that okay like this if capital java is there i have to include capital let's see java as well if it is there or not Okay, so let's see, this is the basic logic I have written. So once this uh, for loop is done, I'll do one thing. Once this is done, after for loop, what exactly we will write the logic for extracting. So extracting all the keys, okay, of map. What is your map? My map is this word, okay, word count map. So how will you do that? Now it's time to extract. So if you want to extract, I'll do one thing. I'll be using the concept of set interface. So I'll create one set. Let's see, this set will hold uh, only strings, right? And let's see, I'll create something like this. Words in string is equal to, and then whatever the word count is available. Let's see, this is my word count, the map dot. What I'll do, I simply write key set. So what exactly this key set will do? Key set, it will return a set. Okay, this will return the equivalent set of the hash map. So I'll store 
key set is returning you one set. So I have to store inside the set reference over here. Right? It means give me the set of the keys. Only the set of the keys will be only these values. Right? And these values will be stored inside the set and I'll import. Okay. So once this is done, now simply what I'll do, my <clears throat> okay, I have extracted all the keys of map, and then I simply do one thing. I start one for loop and then I start loop through all the words in word count, whatever the word count is there, like this. So I'll start a for loop. Now again, I'm using the for loop, okay, where in this particular, okay, word in a string. So simple let's see my word is again a string the word where in this particular words in a string okay words in a string and then i simple say one simple logic that if the word count is greater than one right so i simple say that okay whatever the word count that uh, okay where is your word count yeah so that whatever the word count dot get okay and whatever the word keyword that you are getting if the availability okay is equal to greater than one then what if it is greater than one i simply print it on the console that okay system dot auto print and then i simply say whatever the word that you are using this particular word okay i'll print it like this plus okay colon plus and whatever the word count that you got right this map count word count dot get and just pass the word right so whatever the word let's see the first time word is java and the java will be printed over here and give me how many values that you have stored okay with this particular for loop so java got stored three times so it will print three over here okay and that's it so printing that word with its count that's it so this is for extracting and then finally printed on the console with the help of for loop and one simple basic logic that we have written over here right now inside the main method i'll call this method and let's see it is working or not so let's run it see can you see that java 3 and is 2 see same output we are getting java 3 times and is 2 and i'll do one thing let me write some more logic i mean some more let's see hey uh Python is hey Python is not Java, but best language is Python. Okay, not Java, something like this. So Java is also coming uh, one and two times. Not is also coming is also coming multiple times, and Python is also coming multiple times. So let's see what exactly the output. See, Python is coming two times, not is coming two times, yes, not is coming two times, one and two. And uh, Java is also coming two times, see, one and two. And uh, is is coming two times. Right? So, like this also, let me check it is handling capital J or not. So, see, this is not handling capital J, yeah. So, that logic won't work over here, yeah. So this is case sensitive. So it will take the exact Java and then only it will work. See, now Java is coming two times, right? Let's see some more. Uh, if you really want to check this code, it is working for all the combinations. Uh, I simply write, let's see, okay. So hi is coming four times so this is also working four times what if i pass only one hi okay hi is coming only one so it's not printing anything so guys you have to test it also <coughs> okay and uh, what else so i'm passing let's see 100 100 and 200 and 100 and 200 i have written everything in within the double code so it will be it should treat it as a string so see 100 is coming three times yes and 200 is coming two times so this is also fine 
right? So what else? Right, so this is a different combinations you can check, and this is a program, a very simple program that I have written. And it's a very, they want to see your approach, and please use hash map. Without hash map, you won't be able to solve it. Okay, so please use hash map. Remember this, first create the hash map if word is present, okay? Word is already present, then increase the counter by one. The first time, let's see Java is not there. Okay, the moment it finds already, then only you have to increase the counter. Otherwise, you have to just put inside the hash map. So first time, okay, hey will be put inside the hash map. Again, it will check hey is there or not. No, hey is not there. Again, Java will be put inside the hash map. And third time, Java, it will check Java is there or not. Yes, Java is already there. It means increase the counter by one. Okay, and at the right, okay, and one be fetching the value again, you just extract it. Simple word count that good word. So you have to convert into key set because now we are bothered about the keys. So first you get the collection of all the keys in this particular set and then iterate it through loop over there. That's it. Okay, so we will be covering some more interview stuff, uh, Java questions like this. Uh, I hope. Okay, you will learn a lot of things. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, guys, please subscribe to my channel and let me know if you have any issues. Okay, and if you find any other solution for the same problem, please put a comment over there. Right? Thank you so much. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.